<laughs> we're here. We're doing this. Uh, and it's weird and crazy and a uh, strange hodgepodge of a setup, but hopefully it'll work tonight. Um, as always, the first time you do something, you, you just gotta kind of throw it out there and see what happens. Uh, get some coffee on board. All right, let me turn down my headset. Hello, Mr. Unknown. How you doing? And hello, Matt. How you doing? You are the first to redeem a zebra offering a zebra cake to the, the, the Zed and Otis, who are going to be hiding behind us tonight so that they aren't in the potential crossfire tonight so yeah all right I'm I'm really excited about tonight um, for those of you who might not be part of the community uh, and haven't been hanging out with us to, we're doing a community redeem so tonight I am going to be doing a traditional painting as part of our community challenge and this is gonna be the first time I've done any kind of art on stream so Please be patient and bear with me. Um, hopefully we have things set up well and y'all can see things. Don't hesitate to tell us if anything needs to be adjusted because it very well might. <laughs> um, that's entirely possible. And I'm gonna have to be looking off to the side a lot. I apologize for that, but that's the only place that we could put uh, the computer to that I could see the chat. Uh, hello, Wilson Ann and hi, Axel. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well, Mr. Unknown. Hello, German Weasel. I've been doing good. I've had a pretty good day today. My setup is definitely different for hunting night. Uh, it's, I feel like a little alien right now because nothing is where it usually is and that feels super weird and we're doing a posture check. Yep, definitely being hunchback in Notre Dame. So thank you, the great homo. I appreciate that. I'm doing good. I'm excited. Um, I'm also nervous that things aren't set up well, but we're we're just gonna play it by ear and make sure that we have a good time because that's that's the most important part. All right, so let me see about doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, switching over to this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now, uh oh. We already have our first issue. Why is it not showing? Well. Ooh. And. There it goes. Ooh, we got one. We got it. We got it. Uh, you. You bought Dark Souls Remastered because of me? Oh, you poor soul. <laughs> How you doing, Blackstar? Yes, I love our, me and my grandmother love painting together, but now she can't paint because of her Parkinson's disease, uh, but she can give you tips. Become artist. All right, so you're gonna see over here on the left-hand side is a, um, photocopy that has been enlarged of the sketch that I shared with you on the Discord. Um, and that's just me having a, a frame of reference of where we're going with this. Uh, and yeah, I broke everything already, Ms. Rach, uh, because I think that my camera is frozen and it, it does have a delay for what you will see on a, uh, <laughs> and now I think it's toast. <laughs> it's like I can't. Oh no! <laughs> I'm glad that you're doing great. Yes, and it's the sketchy sketch. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to um, get something accomplished on this campus, maybe even finish the whole painting and uh, still talk to you while I'm doing it. I apologize, I will probably be more distracted and have a more difficult time responding to all the chats than I usually do. 
just because I'm in a different setup, it is going to, by default, make my brain a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a picture of um, Earth, you know, as an elemental or maybe like Mother Earth, you know, that kind of idea. Um, I had put uh, four sketches, one of each elemental kind of expression in discord and let you guys vote and the one that got the most interest was was the earth one so that's the one that i'm going to try to take the sketch and turn it into an actual painting i did these sketches years ago like i think it's uh 2016 i think is when they were done like so ages ago now um and i've always wanted to turn these into paintings so i figured now was a good time so while he's messing with the cameras and trying to get everything going again, I'm going to start by prepping my canvas, which is nothing exciting. So y'all aren't going to miss anything. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background about my arting story and what I know about art and all that. And the answer is nothing. Um, <laughs> I have had for training a single art class in high school and I had a single class in college that I only took about half of it so I don't know the terms for everything so I just make things up as I go as far as what it's called um I don't know formal techniques I don't know yeah I just I just make up things as I go um, everything that I've learned about art has been the fuck around and find out method. I just get in there and do my own thing and if it works, I keep doing it. If I like what I'm seeing, I keep doing it and I call it good enough. That, that's, that's, that's it. That's all I do. So, I mean, as far as, like, this being a tutorial or anything like that, uh, I can tell you how I do things, and I might not even be able to explain that. Um, what I will tell you is that I like to make my canvas kind of goopy before things get started. Um, and I just find that the mediums that I put on top of it flow and mix and blend better if you've got a foundation. And it's just my preference of foundation for it. And most canvases that you buy have already been, um, you know, all prepped up and everything and you don't have to put this stuff on it. I think it's more important on a stretch canvas. I find that stretch canvas is more likely to um, absorb and draw the moisture from your paints than canvas board. I personally don't like painting on actual canvas. I paint on boards. Um, I just don't like the way canvas moves when I poke it is all there is to that. All right, so I will try to remember to show you all the products and stuff that I'm using. Again, these are just my preferences. I'm a huge fan of Liquitex. It's my brand of choice. Um, and that is the gesso that I tend to use. I always start with the clear gesso as my foundation. I think that it gives you a good base prime. Um, then my second coat, I do the matte medium, which is the, again, Liquitex. And this is just their base paint that is like none of the pigment in it. Not even white pigment. It just looks white because that's what your foundation is, I guess. I don't know anything about this. I go back to that. I'm going to keep going back to that. I know nothing. I just get the layer on it. 
All right, and then I don't want to paint on a plain white uh, canvas today. I'm more interested in getting some color kind of right started. So I'm going to be adding some color into my next coat. Uh, you just finished your drawing the skeletal system of a bear and about to move on to the muscular system. Nice, a polar bear to be exact. Has an interesting skeletal and muscle system. Interesting. All right, so I'm adding a touch of color by adding watercolor. I like using watercolor for adding hints of color because these are hyper pigmented colors. So you can put in just a little itty bit into the matte medium and it is meant to be diluted and really disperse the pigment. And I find that it, it gives you that really nice hint of color in a way that is difficult to get with your um, actual acrylic paint. So you don't want to add a bunch of water to acrylic paints to dilute it down. It actually will break down your uh, paint and make it so that it doesn't stick well and doesn't last well. So I find that watercolor paint, on the other hand, is meant to be diluted. So it tolerates that a lot better. Than the acrylic does. Just making a soup on my plate here because that's what I use this palette. Because I find it's really easy to get acrylic paint off of the uh, ceramic as compared to plastics and I am not super worried about the color not being even in this this is more representation of sky than anything else so it's okay that the color is lighter and darker in places that's kind of how sky works so see how it gives it just like a Touch of color. So this first time, just looking at getting that color kind of spread all over the canvas, and then the next time, I'm going to be looking at building up the amount of color. Put it down to a smaller brush. How you doing? Ah, <laughs> titties, you have my attention, right? <laughs> yes, we're painting boobs. I just realized you took water break off of the words thing. I did, um, for two reasons. The first is that I don't want to get acrylic paint all over my water thing. The other thing is, is that I am working with a lot of things that shouldn't go in my face. And I am worried that if someone gives me a redeem while I'm in the middle of something and I'm not paying attention, that I will drink something that I shouldn't. Because um, <laughs> I have just enough of a distractible brain that I don't, I don't trust myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not interested in taking a drink of this. Or a chug of medium. So uh, I decided that today we won't have the redeem for uh, water the face hole. <laughs> that would be super awkward and stream early because of poisoning. <laughs> So because we've got a lot of layers of the gesso and the medium on the canvas, we're getting a lot of glide and brush mark, which is personally what I like because you can start building texture into your painting. 
Um, other people don't like that. This is something that I'm a huge fan of. I think that paintings are more interesting when they have some three-dimensional kind of quality to them. Um, the other thing is, is, as you can see, it gives me a lot of time to play with the color because the thing about acrylic paints in general is they tend to dry pretty quickly, especially if you have any kind of thinned out. And if I had thinned this down with water to get this really light kind of color, my experience is that dries really super quick and you don't get a chance to kind of play with My dad got out RC cars and I was playing with mine. Nice, hi Sam, how you doing? <laughs> yes, but the titties are there, right? Of course, done. <laughs> I see Capaldi is off, so I can't make her drink the creative juice. Um, yeah, that, that definitely would be a bad thing for me to drink the creative juice. <laughs> No, no poisoning the pig tonight. That's definitely uh, something that we're going to try to avoid. <laughs> All right, Zebra Pig, I got to go. So I hope you have a super wonderful rest of your day. And I hope to see a picture of your painting on the Discord. I do plan on sharing the uh, finished painting on Discord. That is the plan. Alrighty. So this is just a sponge that gives paint texture. The music is a bit loud. It's louder than my mic. Oh, okay. Thank you, Crazy Green. We'll see if we can get that balanced out. Good luck with the painting. I'm more of a pencil artist myself. I want to try experimenting with paints over the summer. And hello, Bonky Jong. How are you doing? Is that sound balance better? Miss Rush has worked his magic to like. Oh, I think I liked it better before. Let me leave. Leave that off. Whoop. We'll keep the swirls. I was thinking cloud fluff, but nope, I don't like them. They're out of here. They don't need to exist. Erased! It sounds much better. Fabulous. All right. Let's start getting some stuff going on in here. I don't know what... Um, this is where I'm supposed to look like I know what I'm doing, and I really don't. Um, let's go with, I don't know, a paint color. So all of my paints are Liquitex Basic. That, that's my brand of choice. Trees. We want trees. So. I'm going to build my own brown here. Maybe if I can get my paint to open up.
And I've never had somebody watch me paint, so this is kind of weird, and I'm just waiting for, like, weird things to happen and my painting to look terrible because, you know, people are watching me. So, you know, I'm just like, Whoa. <laughs> Should Zebra drink the mystical juice? <laughs> the mystical juice. <laughs> Thing is, people don't have to know you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, I like to put that disclaimer out there because, A, people are going to be watching this, and I am going to be definitely saying words incorrectly and I'm not going to know the names of any of the techniques. I'm not going to know the names of any of the stuff. Um, and if anybody asks me any arting questions, they're going to be really disappointed if they're expecting like um, a trained artist perspective. If they're looking for a I make art and I occasionally come out with cool, fun stuff, then I can give them that, but wow, that's, that, that's all I got. Um, I don't want to check it to, you know, just my, my standard disclaimers, like, you know, I know what I'm doing, it's just not what most artists do. And it definitely doesn't fall in line with uh, traditional art training. I got very frustrating and frustrated in art class, which is why I didn't take many. There was a lot of, you can't do this and you can't do that, and this isn't proper and that isn't proper. Well, who the fuck said so? You know, like, if I use glue on my canvas and it looks good, then it's art and it's great. Like, what do you care? Like... Yes, t teach me and show me what works for you, but don't try to tell me that there is a right and a wrong way to be creative and make things because I don't buy into that narrative. I think that Everybody can be creative if they're allowed to explore and experiment with what they have. I think there's way too much focus on what's right and wrong. Every art movement started with the first artist who went, I wonder if I do this, what will happen? And then other artists went, well, that's really cool, and started doing it too, so. <laughs> I mostly like drawing skeletons of different animals because it makes me feel like I can draw said animal better and then almost never draw the animals, right? <laughs> Hey, you know, there's definitely nothing wrong with just making the skeletons your thing. Our stuff is about trusting the process. I think that's definitely true. I think you just need to, like, dive in and see what happens and not be afraid to let whatever happens happen. I need like a third or ah! my little thing just popped out. Well, I've worked it.
We'll go to the one that doesn't have a spray top, since I just killed my spray top. That's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing dying on stream. I mean, I guess it's not a zebra pig stream if uh, something isn't dying on stream, huh? Hey Zebra, I wanted to say that I'm sorry for the last stream about the audio stuff. It felt like the other lady got mad at me. I can say with a great deal of confidence that nobody was mad at you, that we were just trying to understand what you were uh, talking about and didn't until like we got into it. Um, but yeah, nobody was mad at you. We're pretty uh, upfront about what we're thinking. And I'm pretty good at like, oh, let's not talk about it if it's something that we don't want to talk about. And so is Siri for that matter, so. Alright, let's... I don't know, I'm going to like, gnarly a little... Stick up here. You guys go, this is what I call, and then create your own tags and stuff, right? I mean, I guess I could. Just name everything myself. <laughs> It just felt like it. Well, that's fair. And I'm sorry that you felt that way. That was definitely not our intention. I never took proper classes because it's always, this is right and this is wrong. Stop doing this. Uh, do this instead. And that's bullshit. And now I consider myself to be sort of good. Yeah, I don't think that there's enough room for... They, they, they don't allow for enough room for exploration. And... I don't do well in that environment. I need an environment that's going to really embrace the idea that I'm just gonna be messing around and seeing what happens. And yeah, that means that I'm gonna end up with a lot of paintings that don't do what I wanted them to do and that don't work out just right. But that's going to be true regardless of how you learn. Um, you're always going to have, you know, paintings that just don't go the direction you intended. All right, let's uh, give that tree a bit of a trunk. Most trees are a little fatter at the bottom. I think that one thing about art is that at least it is a matter of like the proof is in the pudding like you can show people your portfolio and then if you're good at what you're doing you know then they really don't have a lot of grounds in saying that what you're doing isn't right anymore right we are very upfront on our thoughts even if it's titties <laughs> this is true <laughs> Uh, the teacher was my fifth grade art teacher. I think I missed the context of that comment. Uh, 
maybe if I can make it go back up. The only art teacher so far that always encouraged me to do new things, even if it ends up looking like shit. Yeah. I think that that's exactly what should, is just to try and get in there. And if you're interested in art and you're interested in learning, I think that's my biggest advice, is to just get in there and fuck around and find out. Like, you are never going to learn if you try to stay safe. And you're, and I think that's true with a lot of things in life, honestly. You're, you're not going to learn if you try to stay safe. And you're not going to... Um, really grow in your skill set if you're constantly worried about you know how is the end process instead I focus a lot of uh, my paintings on all right so what is going to happen if I do this and this together what do, what does that do and not even worry about like what is the end result going to be Instead, just focusing on the question of what does this technique produce? up here I didn't notice curse of being short I guess don't notice the stuff at the top saying hard no like glass oh, crush them crush your enemies right I am not always good about cleaning my brushes as I go it's a really super good habit to get into it's way better for your brushes Definitely, definitely don't do anything like I do when it comes to brush care. I'm like super rotten to my brushes. I'm like the worst when it comes to uh, taking care of my brushes. So yeah, definitely, definitely don't do any of those things. All right, let's get some bush going on. We need bushes, guys. We need bush. Alright, so we're going to want to start with, I think, a darker green. And we need to get some shadow in it. That's not the shadow I'm looking for. This looks better. I don't know because it does. My brain says so. Because to me, that gray kind of goes with that green. I don't. I don't have a better explanation for the choice than that. me guys sorry apparently I'm uh, not in the best position to not be sneezy on stream 
So I personally get my sponges wet before I uh, get all in there. Um, and I think that when you use a, and this is just what kind of texture you're looking for. When you use a dry sponge, it doesn't like squish against the canvas. If you get a, the sponge wet, it will, well, it'll smush. So it'll just make a different texture. And the other thing is that it feels better to hold on to. And that's the largest reason that I get them wet. Because I really can't stand the way that it feels when it's dry in my hand. So I, I make it wet. Uh, it's bad enough that we need to call brush protection service. <laughs> okay, I can drink the water for the paint. Let me get a glass and fill it up with some water. Ooh, nobody, nobody needs to be drinking the, the paint water. This is, this, is, this is not good for you. All right, I'm just kinda blurp, 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 blurping all the color. And that way they're all in there together. And then I'm just gonna put that color in on top of my tree. And this is my darker leafy foliage look. And my easel is trying to run away from me. I never do this with just one color, and that's because the mixing of the colors right on your sponge all together at the same time really adds kind of a fun. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! <laughs> um, yeah, about that! <laughs> I'll drink some coffee in just a sec. <laughs> I hate it when paintings don't go to the edge, so I always like rah, get really aggressive about it. Alright, and I guess regrets are to be had. This is now kind of one with our, our painting. I had it up out of the way and then I was like not thinking and was like, oh, we'll just move, I'll move it down so they can see it. And well, she's taking damage guys. She's taking a hit, taking a hit. This, this is this part of the art spray, right? It's paint flavor. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to try to keep my paint like sorted here. Now I'm gonna do some of the lighter colors on top of this and just keep building up what I got. So I'm doing a, uh, I don't know, light green stuff here. I'm sure it has a, a, I'm sure it has a paint name on it, but I need new glasses, so I'm not wearing glasses. Brilliant yellow green. 
My old people eyes can read it when it's that far away. That's ridiculous. Almost all of my trees end up being autumn trees. It's just a kind of thing. Who doesn't want color? I mean, I guess all the people who paint black and white. And why? Why would you do that? I don't understand when there's so many colors. All the colors. I need them. So now I'm going in with this same gross sponge and I'm just... First time I had one hit the floor. I'm sure that surprises nobody. Anybody who's hung out with me for any amount of time must uh, kind of expect that crazy shenanigans. All right, let's build on our stuff here. Let's get some grasses going. What I've always thought was crazy about painting is how much you put into stuff and then how much you just like paint over the shit that you paint.
best friend. Well, it's not the color I thought it was, but it's on the palette now, so it's it's going in there. of one for the little detail brushes. Oh, pulled some green into this one. This one's gonna have a green bit in it. And this looks like a good brown. I don't want all our trees to be the same. I don't know anything about trees, so. This is going to be this color. And that's going to make it a tree. I don't know what kind of tree this is. I reckon it's one that has leaves. Definitely getting some personality. Love it. Don't want a straight tree. That's just done to what? I mean, I say that because really, I couldn't paint a straight tree to save my soul.
I have this really nice brush rack. But nope, still gotta hold it in my teeth, guys. Still gotta hold it in my teeth. That'll be just like always and forever where the brushes go. You got kicked out for a sec. What did you miss? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Me talking about crooked trees? I ain't got no straight trees. That's, I don't know. I think that's the the most you missed. Nothing happens really quickly on canvas, so I uh, don't think that you're at risk of missing a whole lot. That's a technical term right there. Just, just, just download the color. And this, this is loading it. Now my water looks really gross. Definitely wouldn't want to drink it now. It's, it's gotten briny. Sloshy on the table. Not too bad. Get some coffee on board, I guess. Okay, so one of the things that I do is that I will take my sketch and we scan it in and print it out so that it's on the size that we want it. And then from there, let me put that back up here. Ooh. I don't know if you can even see what I got going on here. Do a trace paper of that sketch, which allows you to have a kind of working stencil of where you want things to be. 
And you can kind of just whoop, get a sense. And we're going to actually use this to put our starting image over there. But I got to wait for this to dry a little bit. Meantime, I'm just using a charcoal stick on the back of it. Let's say though, I'm not super happy with my trees this time around. More so in context of what I'm doing than anything else. I think it's going to be a really noisy background. Oh, so, you know, choices, choices. What do you do there? Is this a Bob Ross stream? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Is this looking great? Yes, I think this looks this looks fine. I don't have any like objection to like my my trees, my happy little trees. Um, what my concern is, is that I think I want my colors too dark for my background, which is going to make it difficult to overlay the, um, next layer on it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> you always create adventures. I see at least one happy little tree. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy, this guy right here, he's a happy little tree because he ended up colors and didn't even intend on my palette. So there's that. Uh. <laughs> no, is it, but stating that it is, what? Layering dark to light is better anyways. Well, that's what people claim. I don't know. I just get in here and, and fuck about and things happen. And sometimes it looks good and sometimes it, it doesn't so much. And, you know, results vary. That's literally the exact tree I was thinking about. <laughs> he does. He's He's got that, like, I'm a happy little tree attitude. He's, he's definitely got that. Why did I leave the background white? Um, it's actually not white. And the unfortunate thing is, is that, like I said, the, I think I went, the, the color's too dark. It really washed out the gray that's actually in the background. So now the background does look white. I agree. Even though we put the background as this uh, stone blue. It definitely looks very white at this stage of the game, which is making the whole thing look kind of weird and floaty to me. <laughs> which is, I think, part of why I'm kind of looking at it going... And I probably just got, like, stuff on my face. Now if I have a black nose, it'll be there for the rest of the stream because, well, I had an itchy nose and uh, it could be the lighting as well. Um, no, that, that's that's pretty much what it looks like, unfortunately. It's, it's a little bit bluer in person than what I'm seeing on the screen, but I think that all the browns and the greens in the foreground really washed out my background choice. 
It like totally vaporized that little, that light slate blue. I was going for that like almost could rain slate color of sky and yeah, I think it vaporized in all of the background colors. Well, so there's that. All right, we're gonna have a intermission! Boop. All right, so we're just looking at switching over to a different mic. Because with me facing the other direction, oftentimes it's apparently not picking me up well. So I'm going to try my headset mic and see if that works better. Hello, how's this sounding, guys? Oh, well, let me turn off that mic. All right, we'll try this mic, and hopefully with it following my face, um, we won't have the same weirdness that we were getting with the sound going in and out when I was facing away from the other mic. Because, gee, this one follows me. Uh, I have to figure out which overlay I need. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. All right. So that sounds good? Okay, good. So it should sound decent regardless of the directionality, while the other one, it, apparently every time I turned away, uh, I got kind of muffly, and that's less than ideal. So, all right. We'll, we'll keep trying to uh, address things and fix things as we go, and I will try to see what I can do with this painting that is interesting i'm new to the stream heard about this stream for a fortune cookie a fortune cookie <laughs> hello there ex divas how you doing really could use a good la 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 let my i have no idea what that is but i will believe my tech ninja when he says that would be helpful All right.
just trying to kind of mark out where her existence on this canvas is going to be and we will and my cam my easel's rocking and rolling here i usually do this on a desk so uh the uh stenciling part You guys will just have to be surprised, I guess. This is gonna have to be done in my lab. One of these days, I'll have a stream where I have all the things planned out and everything is perfect and I think of everything and every angle. And no, it'll never happen. But you know, that would be a great dream. It's a dr great dream I can have. This weird little fantasy. So all I'm doing is I'm using charcoal to like be um, transferring onto it to basically put this sketch on what we are doing. Oh, and we're like borking again, huh? It's an adventure tonight. It's always the, when we do the first of a stream that you have the most issues. And because I only have the one webcam, we're using my phone, and I think that's definitely part of the uh, strangeness that's happening tonight. All right. The Black Abyss! Yeah, I think that there's gonna be that, unfortunately, off and on tonight as we fight with our technology. So I apologize for the crappy angle. <laughs> Wave to the camera. <laughs> thinking about doing these in the future but now I'm just like oh my goodness there's so much like going on and because it still feels stressful because creating work for other people is stressful for me And because I'm a perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect and it never is and and I have these dual thoughts of where I just keep telling myself perfectionism is a delusion you can never achieve it you are human you need to embrace the truth that you will never have perfection no matter how much you try no matter how much you practice there will always be flaws in your state of existing it is the nature of being human. Then there's this other part of me that's like, but, 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 I, I, I want it. I want it to be perfect. I, I want the things, all the things to be perfect. 
and I'm just like, well, sorry, brain. Not today, brain. All right, so that's the result, and I don't know how much that you can actually see. But I, I swear, there's lines there now. So that's what this weird little thing does. The joy of charcoal, baby. Are we still fighting with it? You're gonna go have dinner? Well, I hope you have a fabulous dinner there, German Weasel. All right, so now I am switching out to using um, acrylic ink. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so acrylic ink is just, well, maybe if I can get this bad boy open. Acrylic ink is a really good way to get nice pigmented lines and I think that it's something that's not utilized anywhere near enough in the world of art but that's just my two cents I feel like you can get it to flow across your picture a lot better than using just black paint because it has the thinness of almost water. But it has the hyperpigmentation to it. Enjoy the pineapple pizza, right? Oh, you're, you're, you're not eating a dinner as a group. So you're gonna hang out with us? Well, we're glad to have you. And I don't know if not eating as a group is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it definitely depends on the group. There's some groups that I would feel relieved by that and other groups that I'd be like, I feel like my hand is never steady enough for what I'm doing. What's not cooperating? Oh, uh, the camera's freezing. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I am in the works of my own manga. Trust me, perfection is far from what I've come to expect. You're lucky I even have all the characters in the same style. <laughs> right? I have to say that I have always been super impressed by people who can draw the same character twice and make it look like the same person. I never understood why I had such a hard time doing that, and then I like have since found that I have face blindness, which, gee, that would be why I have a hard time reproducing specific faces and why portraits and the like are near to impossible for me. So you'll find that a lot of my art, when it includes people, does not actually include faces. <laughs> And that the focus of the form is often not on their face, which a lot of people are like, well, this is so weird. And I'll be like, well, that's, that's how I see people. I pay a lot more attention to other, pe uh, other features than people's faces. And I suppose that if you can't distinguish all the nuances of the face and facial expression, I guess it kind of makes sense.
Maybe it's overheating. Um, I don't think that it's overheating. I, I just think that it's having a hard time with the whole maintaining the stream. We used it with the crocheting stream as well and had issues with that too. I found out the first time we were using it, it was overheating because the default was trying to do the 4K and everything was in the air. Yeah, and once we changed to the lower setting, it didn't have that issue. But. Uh, okay. I don't even know what that is. You just do you back there, and I'll just keep doing me over here, and hopefully, hopefully between the two of us, we'll have a stream that's stream-like. Um, so maybe you just need to do a, you just need to stand there with the photo and do a bunch of still photography, right? And just like <laughs> every every minute or so, but have another photo of it, eh? Or we might just need to switch it so that they don't see my face and use the camera. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hello, some guy. Excuse me, named Cry, how you doing? Looks cool with the white ankle. We need a gaming setup tour someday. And where is everyone? You mean, where are we located? Um, we are in Maine. And it has been way too warm for my taste. I think spring is transitioning into summer and I'm never ready. It was just last week that I was like freezing in this same room and now I'm like but but it's too to it's too toasty ink when I'm doing any kind of lining is that it dries pretty quickly so it gives you a little bit um, more flexibility of where to put your hands which can be helpful when you're uh, unsteady in the hand department like I can be gives me the option of actually just outright putting my hand on the canvas Studying it that way. Gasp. If an art teacher saw me do that, they would uh, freak out. Don't touch the canvas. Ain't nobody looking at any paintings I did and uh, know whether or not I ever touched the canvas. Or care, for that matter. 
Nobody stands in an art gallery looking at Gart going, Do you think they put the hand on the canvas? I've been working on your manga for three months now and I've finished four chapters. Nice, the hammer works too. <laughs> are you doing the writing as well? Or are you the artist and have a partner that you write with? I've always thought that doing a manga would be so incredibly hard to accomplish. Way outside of my uh, artistic wheelhouse. I think we've got something working here. You've been working, uh, you work fast. You've been working on a screenplay for a whole year and 22 pages. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, I find, to know, like, what rates, like, other people do things. Because a lot of times I think, man, it's so slow. And then other people will be like, dude, you're a speed demon. And I'll be like, no, I'm really not. And it, it's, it's so weird because we always have, like, our own perception of, of it. And yeah, what you writing about there, Crazy Green? And these chapters are only, like, five to ten pages. Yeah, I think that's the other thing is that, like, chapters in manga are a different story content because there's a lot of picture content. And you're on 32 pages. That's a lot of work, though. It's an animated video that I'm making. It's about a survivor in a zombie apocalypse and a pear, the fruit. Interesting. It's a reverse Isaki where a character from fantasy world is brought to our world and has to learn how to survive in the modern world. Oh, interesting. Okay, I gotta know what? A pear? I always find the, like, I went into another world transfer kind of stories either really good or really not. Like, it's one of those those tropes that I can get, that I can get, like, kind of overdone. And I think one of my issues with them is when they start making it, um, like, oh, they just magically have, like, video game characteristics. What? Why would that be a thing? with the ending and it's mostly a comedy. All right, all right. 
It's funny for you. Well, you know what I found in life? If, if I find something funny, um, as odd as I find my sense of humor to be, there's there's always someone else out there. Like, we, we are, are grouped with other people. I have found that there's always someone else who shares that thing. They don't usually share all of your things in life, but, you know... It is a very rare ex thing to, to be the only one who has an interest in something. Which is cool. We always have people to share stuff with. Alright, I'm gonna get some foundational color put in here and start building things up. I'm liking this color for her because it's definitely got like a really earthy, earthy quality. Which, well, some an earth elemental should have that. So far, it's going good. Oh, thanks. Your video was supposed to be 10 minutes, but it keeps getting longer. Was that necessarily a bit of problem? You've never understood the Isaki's love of menu scenes? Yeah. I don't... I don't understand that either. Like, why? Yeah, there's some tropes in that uh, genre. Like, overall, I think that the idea is interesting and fun and can be really good story but there's definitely some tropes in it that I just look at and go nah not so much hard pass so some of these darker colors are coming through but I'm hoping that as we build up on top that we'll be alright all we can do is do the thing and see what happens and hopefully it won't look terrible i mean that's that's always the little prayer that i think every artist says going into a piece hopefully it won't look terrible <laughs> mm. i keep waiting for the day that i've practiced earning enough that I don't make that prayer and I instead just have the confidence that it will look good and be good enough, but I haven't gotten there yet! And I think one of the things about art and why we're so rough on ourselves is that we know what it looks like in our head and inevitably it never looks like that on the canvas or whatever medium you're you're working in so there's always that it didn't come out exactly the way that i wanted measure versus the people that didn't know what it was supposed to be in your head and they're just looking at it with just this raw what am i seeing interpretation so they can in some ways be more forgiving Sometimes I think that we judge our art by the wrong standards. Because there's 
there's no way that you can make it exactly what you see in your head. That just isn't a thing. At least that's my arting experience. I don't know what it's like for anyone else, but that's all the weirdness that goes on in my head. I mean, SAO makes sense, but the other ones make no sense. <laughs> yeah, the uh, sword art online. Uh, much more work. I can use a whole day for a few seconds of video. Yeah, that's true. That is su super true. I feel like people try to just... Uh, oh, yeah, to like, oh, this worked really well, so we're just going to copy of it. Most of them failed, for sure. I think that's definitely part of it. Uh, it's going to be fun when I try to make my manga into an anime. <laughs> impartial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good word for it. The, the impartial view. You don't have that investment in, it, in what it was supposed to be. So whatever this becomes, it's not likely to be disappointing to you guys the way that it is to me because, or potentially can be to me, depending upon how much it ends up like I intended, because you didn't have that intention going into this. So I find that when I watch artists, it's more... Um, an exploration and a discovery as I get to watch their creation unfold and I really enjoy that process of like seeing where this thing is going and what is it becoming and I try really hard to take that mentality to my own work but it's, it's definitely harder You only need a day a second. Whew. Yeah, when we have no expectations on the work, yeah. Oh, it's a stop motion video. Interesting. All I see is beauty. All boons are perfect. <laughs> um, all, all boons. I think that's supposed to be boobs. <laughs> Oh, hell, the titties! I mean, you're not wrong. I think this is something that Uthgar and I have, uh, have found that we very much agree on. <laughs> Apparently this stream is stop motion as well, right? It's like progress reveal, right? I talk to you guys for a while and then every now and again you get to see an updated progress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh my goodness. I mean, so I'm thinking that if we were going to be doing any kind of like regular arting stream, we would definitely need different setup. I think it's because at this end of the house, the wireless connection is really good. And that doesn't connect to the internet. So we're not going to be able to do that. So that's why you have those two things. Yeah. Yeah, wireless connections always. Uh, I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
the mighty boobs. Yeah, right? <laughs> Let's just say this 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 lady is all the curves. Huh? Right? <laughs> you definitely got that the fertility goddess uh, shape. I don't know, anytime I think Earth, I definitely think the old Venus representation and, and that very Voluptuous, curvy shapes. Listen, man. <laughs> Zoom into the boobs. <laughs> I was like, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm painting boobs on stream. Watch this be the time that I, like, make Twitch angry and get my ass banned from the platform. We need to have a black bar over the boobs, all right? You know, I did something hilarious. The computer print version of my image as page 26 made entirely out of tiny pics of Shrek. What? <laughs> That's wild. I don't, I, I, I don't know. You just started doing stuff over there. I don't know what was happening. I'm not used to like having you so much in my space. It's super weird. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just one more thing that's got my attention and I keep like, what's, what, what you doing, what you doing? and say that I hope you're doing well. You're valid, you're enough, and you're so loved. I appreciate everything you do. you come so far in your church journey. Absolutely love the drawing. I have to go, though. Bye, Zebra. Aw, well, thank you. That's super sweet. I appreciate it. <laughs> Twitch, is, Twitch is going to, uh, uh, our, my chat is going to revolt on you now. <laughs> oh man he's trolling you guys he's a troll to me all the time now you guys can have some of it
<laughs> I mean, I know that we're we're in the safe land because they don't, apparently don't count as boobs until there's nipples. These will never have nipples. It's okay, guys. Right now it's just boob shapes. We're we're fine. She's not even going to be naked in theory when we're all done if I can get that far. I'm painting like a turtle though. fingers or toes either. Chocolate covered melons, right? Adds two dots and IBS paint. Perfection! <laughs> Love it. There might be a fly. <laughs> I mean, the uh, microphone right next to my mouth. Is 
that's too yellow. just keeps the paint wet longer so it gives you more opportunity to kind of like shade and blend and mess around and gives the paint a bit of a thinner texture too so it kind of glides in better gotta go my mega won't run itself well good luck there green man chocolate compliments Ooh. I like chocolate See how much that color just glides into the other paint? I love the blending medium. You need that? What? Don't zap me! Ah, oh, man. What, what redeem did I miss? Woo! Missed that a while ago, too. Ah! All right, wiggle. <laughs> the more zebras moving the brush back and forth, the more the chest seems to perk up. <laughs> well. Yeah, she's got to be perky, I mean. Got to give her definition. Yeah. 
We gotta make sure she's adequately round. Three-dimensional. That's what we're looking for, guys. It's three-dimensionality. Three Just happens to be melon-shaped. It's purely coincidental. Okay. I, I, I feel like I keep wanting to, like, this goes into my mouth. Nope, just, 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 you can, you can do it. Hold it with your other hand. Alright, so this side's gonna be darker. I don't have enough things going on. I need, I need to hold one more. Done, almost done with the muscular system of the bear. Nice. Chocolate too says you're beautiful. Love it. Your chocolate's giving you affirmations. It's like the happy chocolate. That's one way to look at it. Ah, uh, seven. That's a curvy curve. And her belly button has somehow disappeared. I gotta fix that, I guess.
Give him a good hug, right? Yeah, he's definitely uh, working hard tonight. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I mean, he's always very helpful, but I feel like he's definitely uh, wearing the, the tech roll tonight. Wearing that hat. Pretty harsh. Let's bring that color a little bit. There we go. A little bit more. I don't want hard lines with color. That just attracts your attention to it. This is always just a process of like slowly adding, slowly adding, slowly adding, and just constantly working in more shade and color. And She's the focus of the piece. I will definitely fuss over her coloring and attention to her a lot more than other details in the painting. something that took me a long time to learn is that not everything should get an equal amount of your attention. Wish you could get out of this broom closet, but it's the only place I am allowed to keep my PC. That is a really weird place for a PC. In a, in a literal broom, broom closet? What? Or am I being too concrete? Is it literally a broom closet or is it just that little?
That's a bit larger, just a really small room. Yeah. I have the problem of filling whatever space I'm in, so even when I'm in a big room, it feels like it's a small room. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> That's a weird highlight. Just, there we go. Hello there, Norsan. How you doing? It's about two by four and a half. That's a pretty damn small space. I think that is, in fact, a closet. amazing you are so talented oh well thank you i'm glad to hear that you're doing well and i'm doing pretty good myself i have always really enjoyed the whole arting world and have spent a great deal of my time in life making things but I can't seem to ever, like, stay with one creative pursuit. <laughs> but painting is one that I have a particular passion for that I keep coming back to. Started painting when I was an adolescent. And uh, my dad got me one of the best Christmas presents he ever got me. He got me an easel and some canvases to go with it so that I could explore the world of painting and uh, have never really stopped. Set aside for a while here and there, but always, always come back. What was Rigbot doing? Stardew Valley, nice. That game is so calming to watch, but I think it would be super stressful for me to play. Because <laughs> everything is so time sensitive. I feel like all you ever do in that game is run around and try to stay on time. And oh my goodness, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> But like when I don't have to worry about keeping track of the time of things, it, it's just really nice and relaxing to watch other people play it. But I think that it's a, that that's watching it is is a lie to the experience of playing it. I really like that it is amazing. I'm drawing right now as well. So sorry I haven't been very interactive, but it's amazing. And I hope you keep painting. Oh, I think that it's awesome that you are also being all arty right now. I love it. And I will definitely always be painting. As long as I have the things. And the physical ability to do so. I will, I will paint. I love it so much. There's something about being able to just mix and make colors that just makes me so happy. 
<laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Who followed? Calfrey, thank you so much. And I love that laugh. <laughs> Probably my favorite sound alert. <laughs> All right, we gotta revitalize things here. Up. You gotta be moist. <laughs> Greetings from Dallas! I was wondering where you were headed. I knew you told me, but then I couldn't remember. And then you were like, I'm on a plane. And I was like, I didn't know where you went. Will I name the painting? Uh, probably not because I like never name anything. <laughs> it's a great thing to do what you love, especially when you're beginning uh, with your father. <laughs> I agree with that. I had much fun watching you playing Dark Souls. Ah, I'm glad that you have fun when you come hang out on my channel. That makes me happy. I love knowing that people just can vibe here and meet new peeps and just have a good time and not have to stress about things. Cause man, life is hard enough. We don't we don't need to make our entertainment stressful too. that I'll ever be the gamer that like freaks out because if I get that stressed out it's just time to play it every game all right I'm feeling pretty good about this color might be time to move into the second color but Dark is the under of side. Not dirty brushes I need to wash. And hello there, Anna Green Moon. How you doing? What a pretty drawing. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, German, you're also out in the Dallas direction. I really needed to hear that. All the love for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys have been amazing. I will say that I have super enjoyed spending time on Twitch. Everybody here has been amazingly supportive in my crazy journey. Um, I can't say that I ever expected this to be my primary um, social media account. I started with blogging for social media and felt like I wasn't really able to have good connecting conversations with people. And that's why I ended up transitioning into streaming. I thought, oh, that will let me, you know, talk to people. That'll be fun. And that's like really as far as the thought went on it. Um, and I didn't really ever expect much of anything else to come of it. And then just, it's been a crazy wild ride the last, I think what, we're up to six months now? I mean, that unto itself is crazy to me. Maybe it's more than that, I don't know. Mr. Roch, you're our milestone. What are we up to these days? Oh, you're about two and a half hours from Dallas? Cool. I don't know, you're a German weasel, so my brain says you're in Germany. Makes zero percent sense, but that's what my brain does. Oh, we're at nine months now? Almost ten? Oh my goodness. Miss Arch is my first follower. Followed me shortly after I made my account. So, uh, he's, he's how I always know how long I've been doing this, because he was like, just a few days after. I also thought they were in Germany, so you were so not alone. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a German, he, he's a German weasel, right? I mean, not that German people can't be in not Germany. I mean, it's, I, yes, you hear that Germans, you must stay in Germany. I don't, I don't know. Brains are weird. All right, let's get some of this lighter pigment going on and hit some of the highlights. All right, so... I think this whole side of her face is gonna need... Please excuse that. Exactly right. My family is mostly from Germany. My dad's side is German and Polish, and my mom's side is Norway and France. And some German. Cool. Oh, 
Hello, Slurks. We love new people. Welcome to the Dazzle. Hello, hello. We've got Collegiate Rocket League World Championship going down at Dream Act. Woo! Stax is working. Just a smidgen, right? Nope. All right. Oh well, twenty even. Woo! New records. from watching other people paint is that most people start with the like absolute darkest colors and then go up from there lighter. I tend to kind of hit the middle ground and then work in either direction and I feel like I get a better blend when I do that. Papi 
on the dome. What? <laughs> Detailing them boobs. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure that the ladies are nice and globed looking. Bounty under those eyeballs. Send this paint down. Way too heavy. I don't want to move. Those are emotes I apparently don't see. He's probably trolling me. When in doubt, Stacks is trolling. Of course, you can get around this by not uh, having 
stenciling to start with, but you know, where's your sense of adventure, right? That's a bit more than I want. So acrylic can be pretty forgiving. When I get more color in there than I want, I just put in the blender and just pull the pigment out. That will just moisten it up and you can like pull it right off the canvas. This is very fascinating. We should have an art night more often. <laughs> Painting is super fun. Especially if you can let go of the right and wrong mentality and in just embrace the experiment and see what you discover mentality. I have been thinking about doing a regular painting stream because it would give me a reason to uh, motivate myself to uh, do the whole arting thing more often. And I often uh, need excuses to do the fun things. However, as many hiccups as we've had tonight, <laughs> I think poor Miss Raj uh, would definitely uh, be working hard we had regular streams of arting. We'd have to figure stuff out. Better setup. Okay, I say we. You know, the, the, the tech ninjas would have to do their ninjing. It could be a character from the Adventure Time cartoon or Steven Universe. Oh, yeah? I'm not familiar with a lot of those cartoons, so... I hope they're good ones. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> masterpiece oh dear well thank you <laughs> It's definitely not what I had in my head, but I think that I'm feeling a little better about it.
Got to go. See you guys. And have a fun weekend. Will you have a good night, Bounty? Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Top of that foot, I think. Oh. For real, the stream is really satisfying. I'm really happy to know you you like. I really enjoy every stream you do, and I'm pretty sure everyone here agrees. Oh well, thank you, Norsen. I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you, my lady. You are very talented. Oh, thank you, Lenore. My mouth is broken, but <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Lena Moreau. I'm always butchering people's names. I wish I, I was better at saying people's names properly. Oh, I always feel so bad. Because it's like their name. So it feels disrespectful to like mangle a person's name. <laughs> you nailed it. It's okay. <laughs> I just just got stuck there for a minute. I feel like that's the best way I can explain it. Like I try to say something and sometimes it feels like words get stuck in my mouth and they don't want to come out right. And it can be so frustrating.
You were the few who said my name correctly. Oh, well, there. <laughs> I gotta go now. Enjoy the stream. Are you posting the final painting on Discord after the stream? That is the plan, Ads. And thank you for coming and hanging out with us. I appreciate you being here. And yeah, yeah, the plan is that I will post the final product in the arting section. <laughs> My draft to the stream. That is probably a good idea. I mean, not that I would ever forget anything ever. All the time, every day. there wherever there is we're getting there all right we're at the dirty brush phase again minutes to I need to get clean water and wash my palette to start with the next colors so give me about five minutes and I'll be right back maybe again mic off
mic on. All right, let's see if I can get back on the right camera. Oop. All right, I think that's the one. All right, so gotta go because my great country will close the Wi-Fi. Oh, that's weird. Well, thank you, North Sam, for coming and hanging out with us. I appreciate that. And all right, hair, hair, hair. I don't want it to be the exact same colors that we had with her skin tone. So let's shift away from the browns. I'm thinking we're gonna, I, I should continue with some of the kind of autumn tone and go with that. Well, I'm glad that you're liking it, Zim. All right, so I'm gonna pick this darker red color. And... Make that kind of my base. Little drop of the black ink in it to make my base kind of shading color here and we'll get this part started in pink gradient to neon green oh right <laughs> it's amazing i love it so far oh thank you jerry weasel the cam is freezing again oh, always forever some more uh i'm telling you miss Roch is definitely working hard this stream i'm keeping him busy tonight and it's this camera issue that make, is really the only thing that makes me go, uh, maybe I shouldn't do arting streams. Turn the page to continue the story. <laughs> right? Am I, am I freezing or becoming a manga? Well, I'm sure that Mr. Roch will come and work his magic here in just a second. I think he's done more like tech and mod work this stream than in the last month combined. Goodness. Always arting streams there. Amazing. And this music is scary. It did kind of take a sudden, like, kind of creepy tone.
Yeah, I don't know. Miss starts taking his union mandate into 30 minutes lunch break. <laughs> Goodness. Definitely been moody. That much is for sure. <laughs> yep, I said to hell with it. Make it black. <laughs> Seeing his praise is enough tonight. <laughs> Bad action, fixing the stream. You need a break. <laughs> Mr. Raj probably does need a break at this point. He's been working hard. I've gotten to play all stream.
I haven't gotten any zebra cakes in the last hour. What? That's weird. I would say try refreshing your screen and see if that helps. If that doesn't work, I I don't I don't know. That's it. That's the only suggestion I have. So I find hair to be a tricky bit because you don't paint every single strand like hair doesn't work that way we don't visually perceive hair that way so if you try to paint every single individual strand it doesn't look right um, so it's more about getting it into chunks that visually represent the groupings of hair that make sense and that's always an interesting challenge <laughs> Mr. Just Azave deserves praise. He is and he does. Now Zebra Pig is just fucking with me for a heartbeat. I thought it was fucked only to see she had turned the painting. Uh oh. <laughs> I was just trying to get a better angle on that part of the hair. I wasn't trying to mess with you. Oh, goodness. brighter by adding a red to what we already have and also adding the um ah whatever this stuff's called slow dry to help make it blendy better There's some colors that warrant just buying in a giant tube. Black and white. I feel like you can just never have enough black and white paint. Every project uses a little bit of black and a little bit of white, I, I feel.
I got one's a little bit stiffer than I want. Uh, let's maybe, 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 let's figure a bunch of brushes. I'll find one I'm looking for. I'm probably going to have to go back in and recover some of the dark tones. This one is definitely uh, kicking the dark tones, but... So then on the other side, highlights are going to be, and I need to turn this. So I can flirt with this eyeball and not mess it up. Or at least that's the story I'm telling myself.
Bone is about to die, so I'm gonna have to leave, but I'll come back later and see the finished result unless it's almost done, which I doubt. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that we're almost done. I think I got a while yet. stay because I don't have extra charger currently so I'll stay until phone death <laughs> that is like my life right there I'll be like no wait <laughs> a challenge because they don't exactly work like real hair. They kind of defy gravity and the light.
that because that's what the shape said to me. I said, hey, I'm not quite right. Artier people than me can probably give you some like logical explanation for that, and I, I don't I don't have it. My explanation is always just it just didn't feel right. It felt flat. It didn't look like a bouncy round curl to me. It had a very flat. Even though we followed the sketch line, it didn't, it didn't pull that three-dimensional curve that I was looking for. So we're going to just augment that shape more. And You're at 2% is on the countdown. Two percent strong.
Two stay and it's not leaving. Woohoo for the power of two! Alright, and then I'm gonna put in just a touch of paint for the next layer of color here. I want it to just be a little bit brighter and bolder where the light is. And then another head of white. Lavendery pink what's going on here. There's a particular type of bush here. I have no idea. I don't know anything about trees and bushes. It takes on this like purpley pink hue in the fall that I always think is a really pretty color that this is uh, kind of what I had in mind and so I know purples and pinks aren't usually what you think of when you say autumn colors, but... Maple has really nice dark, kind of red purpley hue leaves that come, and then there's, yeah, this, I don't, I don't know, I, don't, I see it every year, but I don't know what kind of bush it is. But it's really pretty, and I've always liked it, and... Well... It gives me permission to make it one of my autumn colors, right? That's my theory, I'm sticking to it.
Power awesome painting. Two's not yet gone. <laughs> is that what it is? Power of painting, huh? I mean, painting's happening. I don't know about awesome. I'll reserve my opinion until it's done. I've definitely already pointed out that I will probably be uh, the harshest critic in the world. Because I usually am. And people often talk about that being a bad thing, but I think that's something to keep in mind is that that constant seeing where things don't quite work right and I could do this better next time is where you grow as a creator. If at any point you're satisfied and you feel like you've mastered your craft, then you, you've got nowhere else to go. You're not going to get any better. You're not going to grow. That's it. You, you've reached the peak of what you can do because you've set that standard as being the best you can do. But as long as you're looking at your work and saying, oh, I could have done this and that would make it better, then you're going to continue to grow and it's just easy in the process of that to lose sight of the things that you're doing well and the fact that it doesn't... Uh, mean that just because there's room for improvement doesn't mean that what's there now isn't worth having. And by the way, that's true in all our areas of life. Not just art. Gotta find that balance between being able to see where we can get better and where we can improve, but acknowledging that what's here now is pretty good too and worth having. And in the world of my arcade, well, let's be honest, in the mom all of my world, I'm better at that some days than others. She's so pretty. Ah, oh, thank you. This is turning out amazing. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, guys. Appreciate the vote of confidence. Uh, this is the first time that I have painted with people watching, and I was really nervous about uh, people seeing my kind of crazy, weird, disorganized process. Awesome painting, and the awesome painting is, of course, yours, and you shouldn't hate your stuff so much. <laughs> of course, you can say, Oh, it would have been better to do this, and that's fine. But things like, Oh, it's horrible, it should have been better, that's not good, and that's where you need to find balance and say, Oh, I could have done this, but it's still good, and I'm proud of it. Exactly. It's about finding that balance of being able to critique yourself and say, These are my areas of growth. You know, my opportunities for, for growth. 
But then, yeah, this... You know, but also acknowledging that there's strengths and desirable traits in this too. And that, again, and this isn't just about, you know, that isn't just a truth for art. That's a truth for life and living, I think. Because our brains are programmed to focus on the negative things because those are the things that we need to take action on, right? Like, if things are good and going well, they don't need our attention because they're good and going well but when things aren't good and are not going well those are the things that we need to invest time and effort in to make them better so our brains are kind of programmed to focus on those things and pick up on you know, the things that are not going good because that's how we make them better how we get stronger, it's how we get our skill set improved, is by being able to focus and pay attention to those opportunities for growth. Hey, Elm, that's some great grass. Yeah, it definitely turns out way greener than I was hoping. I, I can't say that I'm loving this background. Um, <laughs> I think she's turned out really well and I'm really happy with her so far but I will say that the background I'm, 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 I'm not loving that I think that the colors are way too um, contrasting and dramatic we're now at one so I will I will soon leave and check it out later if I don't make it to the end Okay, yes, and I will definitely share the VOD as always on the uh, YouTube uh, Twitch VOD channel as well as on Twitch so that it'll be there for longer than I think it's like, what, a week that Twitch keeps it? So even if you can't see it right away, you can go to the YouTube and see it forever. That's the forever keeping. Um but I will also post a picture of it in the Discord so that you can just kind of like take a peek and look. I mean, the grass is always greedy on the other side. <laughs> I will say that I had briefly considered starting over with the background not turning out as well as I had liked. Um, I considered re- and it's like, all right, now I'm just, I'm just gonna commit and stay the course, so you guys can see whatever this crazy process is that I have from start to finish, and go from there. I might do another version of this. We'll see. Fine weasel. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Wherever there is, it's it's getting to it. 
I always end up having more layers of color in hair, I think, than anything else, because I feel like hair is something that always has so much depth of color that it feels flat to me if I don't add a lot of colors to it. So I'm gonna add some more of the bubblegum pink to give it a, another bit of brightness. And I'm adding some of this uh, portrait pink so that we can lighten it up, but maybe not quite so dramatically as white would lighten it. See what that gives me and go from there. Oh, I think that definitely gives me the bright and the pink that I wanted, but I do think I need a little bit of white to lighten it up just a touch. These very scientific measures. I don't know, I'll squeeze some, see what happens. Mix it up, take a look at it. Does it work? I don't know. If it looks good, go with it. If not, well, you know, add something else to it. See what happens. like I was making my castle, you know? I, I, I don't do a whole lot of pre-planning. I just gotta dive in and see what happens. And sometimes that bites me in the butt. Thank you for ask, answering whatever that question was, Miss Raj. It looks like I've missed it. So, whatever it was, I'm sure that Miss Rudge knows. Sometimes I think that he knows me and my stuff better than me, so when in doubt, just just believe Miss Rudge. He's a very, very trusted source in the world of us, uh, the zebra things. And all things pig. Or at least this pig. some of these edges.
start rushing a little bit. Fun to get a little pack. Either break carefully or else you might be attacked. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I would, I would never like randomly use explosives or randomly bang on someone's car until it explodes. Nah, that would that would never happen. Totally. <laughs> The other advantage to doing the highlighted edges is that it gives you that last chance to like clean up and smooth the line. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Guess it helps if I have the right end of the brush facing the canvas.
done with the hair, I think. Gotta get her eyeballs done, too. She's got nothing going on there. Got that glassy eyed vacant look that I usually have shortly after you're waking up. It's fine. You get the best purples by starting with a nice, rich, brick red and black combo. And then you just add the white and pink from there and you just get some really nice purple. Because it's all about the purples. I use purple in everything. Everything! All right. So I don't know how well this effect will be picked up on the camera, but I'm going to be using for her eyes the iridescent medium. And that is basically going to mean that any paint that I mix this with will have kind of a wet, shimmery look to it. I find it's good for eyeballs, wings, scales. It kind of looks like almost like a pearl. base of her eye, I'm using a white that's not quite pure white because, well, her eyeballs aren't super duper white. the Bob Ross today. <laughs> I definitely don't feel like Bob Ross. He's amazing. Oh, well, he was amazing. He's like the superstar of painting, right? I can remember being a kid and watching him paint and just thinking that it was magic. And still wishing that I could work the wizardry with paint that he does. Oop, still a little bit heavy there. Let me...
not going to do a whole lot with her eyes because leaving them kind of hollow and empty is going to give her less of a human appearance. Which is why I went with the very round shape. All right, guys. <laughs> this is what you get for four hours of a big painting. <laughs> uh, is it perfect? Nah, really can't say I'm super excited and happy with the background. Um, but definitely not the worst, just terrible eye. Screw you, paintbrushes. I'll take care of you in a bit. Um, so overall, I, I think that it's okay. I think she turned out really well. Background is kind of, kind of a hot mess, but <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Uh, tech was interesting. Um, at least I didn't have to deal with that part for Miss Raj. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this experience of watching my bizarre creative process of just sort of feeling it along as I go. Um, and if you're interested in seeing other, you know, painting streams, definitely get on Discord and let us know. I don't know that they will happen. A lot of that will depend on how feasible Miss Rach felt all of this was because there was definitely a lot of leg work on his part in making sure that this stream was functioning the way that it was supposed to. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm going to leave this up on this screen so you guys can keep seeing the painting. Um, normally I go to the credits page at this point, but I'll, I'll leave that here tonight. Um, so thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for watching and hanging out with me and chatting. I had a great time and I very much appreciate all the support. I can't express how much it means to me that you guys come and hang out with me and give me all the encouragement and support that you guys give me. It has been a really incredible ride here on Twitch. Um... If you go down into the about page, you can find the usual things. You can find a green dragon picture. And in 
if you click on that dra dragon, it will take you over to Siri Skulk's page. And uh, that is the artist that has done all of my overlays and emotes. So you should go check her out. She's amazing. She's uh, doing commissions. If you would like to have some art and gun for yourself, you can also just see the emotes in a bigger format if you're, if you're interested and would like to see that art. You can also just look at her gallery. She's an amazing artist and does a lot more than the adorable pink cheese. Um, so go check her out and give her support. She's awesome. And I'm sure I'm not biased at all, right? Um, <laughs> Then also in the about is the buy me a coffee link. That'll take you over to my coffee shop. It's got a lot of things going on. It's got tiers of support, like the Patreon, different tiers of support, gives you different perks and benefits. It's got one-time donations. You can buy a uh, crochet pattern. You can buy um, commissions for me to make you a hat. Um, yeah, just go check it out. I'm working on updating it on a fairly regular basis and I don't currently have my um, credits running but I usually share the fan art that has been submitted to me and I really appreciate seeing all of that fan art. It is super fun to see you guys' creativity and I, I just love art so I love seeing what other people are doing in the world of art. So if you would like to get in on the arting, we have two channels in the Discord. One is the fan art channel, and anything put into the fan art channel will be included in the slideshow of art that's usually included at the end of streams. The other channel is a place where you can just share any of the art that you've created so that we can just see what you've been up to and what you've been doing. I, I love seeing it. Um, and just a general thank you to everybody that has given donations. I really appreciate that a lot, whether it's in the way of money or video games or whatever time. You guys have been awesome. I super appreciate it. All right, let's look and see who is on tonight. It is not likely that anybody else on my uh, list of people that I know is doing art. <laughs> I usually try to stay in the same category that we're doing. Um, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen tonight. Um, but let's see. All my stuff is set up different than usual, so I'm just like lost over here. So I apologize for the extra slowness. Yeah, I don't have any of the arty people that I usually watch doing any arty things tonight. Um... So let's see. What? It just doesn't wanna. It just doesn't wanna. It's like, no, you can't make me load. It's fine. I, I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me. I'm sure that it doesn't have anything to do with me clicking things wrong. Oh, let me get to where my uh, typing is. All right, so I'm gonna take you over to Do tonight. He's a lot of fun. I absolutely adore Do. He's part of the Don't Starve community. He is another person that's given me a lot of support and helping me learn how to play uh, Don't Starve. So when we go over there, as always, we're gonna throw two or three Doritos to make sure that he feels awesome and loved through the power of snacks. And today is what Thursday now so my next stream will be on Saturday but that's over on YouTube noon to four and then I'll be back here on Twitch streaming on Sunday and that will be don't starve Saturday I'm doing alien isolation if you want to join me over on YouTube all right guys so as always you guys be sure to take care of yourselves bye